Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you probably the coolest street light in my street light collection. This particular fixture here is a remote ballasted fixture. It is a GE Form 175. I picked this fixture up ooh, quite a long time ago at a restore for $7. I couldn't pass it up. As soon as I saw this thing, I knew exactly what it was. And, uh, well, here it is today, in its original condition that I found it in at the ReStore. Now, yes, it does need some cleanup, and I will eventually get to doing that, but I want to do it appropriately and uh, restore this thing, because it is a very rare fixture to find. So, the first thing that you can tell, let me put it at an angle here so we can see it. So you have the reflector housing, and you have the refractor itself. Now I've heard some people call this fixture a record needle because, well, it, it kind of looks like it when it's on the arm. It's, it's hard to keep up at an angle here, and there you go, that kind of works. So you can see a side profile of the fixture itself. We do have a typical GE latch here. We can look at it from the front. It's going to be the same from any direction, except for, of course, the side that has the, you know, slip fitter on it to go on the arm of the um, pole itself. So, anyway, this thing is um, kind of awkward to do a video about, so hopefully we can do just fine. First thing, let's take a look at this latch here. You can simply take it off like that, and it comes down, and then it folds open. Now... We'll put it back together so it stays together. On the other side, we have simply a hook and a hinge here. So it just hinges itself. Take a look at the slip fitter. This is for a two inch um, pole or pipe, as you can see. Of course, we have the screws for tightening onto the pipe or pole. Of course, we have the refractor here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Look at that beautiful GE logo. Amazing. You can see the detail in this refractor, and we'll see more about it when I open it up here. But we also have on this side some information. It says Hall of Fame house side, and of course this side said street side. So anyway, let me go ahead and set it down here. We'll open it up. Just hinges open like so, and we can unhook it. Now, that thing is super light. All the weight is here in the refractor or lens. This thing is so cool. Like I said, it is very dirty. It's in the original state that I found it. Absolutely beautiful. But if you look at the bottom, in the middle of the reflector here, you can see, oh, what does it say? Four-way and some information there. So this is for a four-way intersection, is my guess by why it says four-way there. Oh, and there's, there's a two over here as well. That's what I wanted to find. So you can see the design inside of here. Very cool, you know, there's some thicker parts and that's all to distribute the light at the intersection. So very cool uh, refractor we have there. Let me push that over to the side and we'll take a look at the housing itself. Of course, that's what it looks like without the refractor on. We have a very simple socket here, reminiscent of the times. You simply just put your wires into the terminals here and it goes right into the socket, as you can see. Now this would be a remotely ballasted fixture. I suppose it could be incandescent, but it was probably for a 175 watt mercury vapor bulb. So let me go ahead and set the fixture down here. And I do have a lifeguard bulb here. So let's screw it into the socket so we can see what it would look like with a bulb in it. So that's what it looks like with a bulb in the fixture. And as you can tell, looking directly at it with the camera here, it puts the arc tube right in the center of the fixture. Now, of course, 
you could also use a 250 watt mercury vapor bulb as well and you'd have the arc tube right in the middle of the fixture as well. Now probably a 100 watt bulb might move it a little bit closer. So it's definitely made for a 175 or 250 watt mercury vapor bulb. And obviously the ballast then would be on the pole in a ballast can. So pretty cool. Let me go ahead and take that out because I don't have a remote ballast here with me right now or one to even go with this. I only found the fixture. I didn't have a, um, it didn't, it didn't, I did not find the actual ballast can at the restore. It was only the fixture, but that's okay. The fixture is way cool all by itself. So I'll screw in a adapter here because I don't have a um, bulb appropriate with me right now. So I'll put in this uh, 100 watt bulb. Yes, it looks like a 300 watt bulb, but it's a 100 watt bulb. And I chose this one because the filament is almost in the center of the fixture, but not really. So we'll take this cord and let me plug it into the power strip over here. Let me turn it on. So you can see what it looks like without the refractor. You know, very nice light distribution there. Beautiful. So I'll set that back down. Let me turn off the light and I'll put the refractor back on. It simply hooks on here. Let me get a better uh, grasp on it here. Simply hooks on and folds up. And of course on the other side, we have our latch. There we go. Latch it into place. Let's spin it around here a little bit. I guess we'll just let it sit there. That's how it wants to sit. We'll turn it on. It's just such a unique and cool fixture. It'd be really nice to see it in mercury vapor form. But yeah, isn't that cool? Like, look at the detail in that refractor. Of course, it's pretty dirty, but it's not cracked or chipped or anything. It's in perfect condition. And you can see the arrows here of what way the light will be thrown. And you can also see the strips themselves. Very, very cool. Of course, being a little clamp fell off while I was moving it around. See if I can, there we go, pick it up. What an absolutely beautiful fixture. I just can't get over how wonderful this thing is. So anyway, eventually this thing will be cleaned up and when it is, I'll make another video of it. But at this time, I really do hope you enjoyed this video of this really cool and rare GE Form 175. Also, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.